I need some motherfucking views. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. I don't know, I give up. So here we are a year later, and uh, yeah, we really made it as gamers because Drake played with fucking Ninja on stream, right? Tell me I'm Sour Grapes Phil and all that shit. And now here we are a year later, and no one gives a fuck about any of that stuff, and Fortnite's basically a joke. Well done. Crusher, looks like he's starting to tire. This very well may be too much for him to handle. I'm really disappointed in what we're seeing from him here tonight. Heading in, I really oh, thought he had a chance of winning. me some people notified me on my stream this morning that ninja has moved exclusively to mixer he made a big announcement video about it today that he's quitting twitch he's not going to do any more streams on twitch i don't care you know what i mean like i don't give a shit he's exclusively moving over to mixer to stream and he wants all his viewers to move over to him because apparently he feels twitch's guidelines and rules are too restrictive on his streaming okay um now People want my opinion on this. I'm about to give it. However, understand that this is completely subjective and not based anywhere in fact. I have no factual basis to base any of this on. This is all conjecture. 100% conjecture. All right? Bullshit. That's all I have to say is bullshit. People became so fucking jealous. Ninja right now on Twitch, even though he's not the biggest Twitch streamer anymore, and if you guys have been following, you would know this probably for the past six to eight months that he's actually been losing traction and popularity on Twitch significantly, that other Twitch streamers, especially those who play Fortnite, have been getting a lot more viewership and attention than he's been. So basically, for the last year, he's been on Cloud9, the biggest guy, the top guy, mainstream uh, streamer. He's been you know, ESPN covering him and everything. All of a sudden, starts losing traction and popularity. Uh, what do you do? right well take a payday right and basically move to a format where you're the big fish in a small pond because for those of you number one who don't even know about mixer mixer is the streaming service exclusively owned by microsoft i think we've talked long enough about the asshole let's not extend this fucking conversation let's change the subject they've been struggling for two years to try to get people onto their format um there are don't get me wrong there are people who use mixer but it's primarily people who only play games on Microsoft consoles and or people who work for Microsoft. It's typically not a lot of, of big popular gamers are streaming over on Mixer at all. Um, <clears throat> in essence, those who stream on Mixer are usually people um, who don't or can't stream on Twitch. Bottom line is Twitch is a bad business. Twitch is not a good place to put out quality content. It's not. You are constantly... F uh, nagged to advertise and or uh push subs or product so that you can make money and you're they'll make money they get profit from that and then you get profit from that i'm gonna you want to know why i know all of this because you might be saying phil talks about twitch all the time like he knows about it but he hasn't been on twitch for two years they're so stupid they never remove me from their email list so every time that there's a new update for partners i get it and all the emails i get they have not invested one dollar into their actual business to make it better. Twitch is and remains the top premier platform for game streaming, period. It's the best place to stream. They have many different opportunities to make money and monetize, whether it's the partnership program, whether it's you know the bits program, whether it's just accepting crowdfunding from your audience via tips and the like, whether you, you get sponsorship opportunities for products or sponsorship opportunities to play games. There's a million ways to make money on Twitch. They don't have higher quality streams. They don't have like much increased server capacity. You know what I mean? All the things you, why can't people stream at 1080p 60 frames per second on Twitch? Because they don't care about that. They don't care about the quality of the gameplay or even the quality of the stream. Why do you think there's so many titty streamers on Twitch who are girls with big ass fucking boobs hanging out and they barely can play a game but they get tons of fucking money on Twitch and Twitch makes out. That's a big demographic for them to make profit. Because they don't care about the quality. If they did care about the quality, they'd stop telling you, oh, buy a t-shirt. Oh, here's a new kind of chat emote system, an exclusive emote thing, and this and that. that has nothing to fucking do with the stream. Okay? Mixer is Microsoft's attempt to do the same exact thing and play catch-up. Alright? Um, 
And the bottom line is, a lot of people have given Twitch flack over the last couple of years, ever since they basically made their their guidelines way more restrictive. None of it has anything to do with sitting there and playing the game on Twitch, which is what the fucking website was created to fucking do. In fact, if you don't believe me, they changed their terms of service. Their terms of service and mission statement used to state that Twitch TV is the premier destination for gamers to share their gameplay experiences. It now says it's the premier destination for gamers to share their personalities with others. I'm not kidding. Like, it's, it says that. I, it doesn't say it exactly in that wording, but basically it says it's for interaction between a gamer and a stream audience, not about the game anymore. They don't care about that. They're terrible. They're a horrible business for gaming in general. The bottom line is... Ninja has made a ridiculous amount of money on Twitch. Insane amount of money. And Twitch is what made Ninja. Alright? That's the reason he got his popularity. Is because he had this format to, to stream on. He busted his ass, of course, to become a top streamer. Don't get me wrong. But Twitch and its opportunities to monetize are what made Ninja popular to begin with. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, you know, been more successful or things like that. And he's now saying all of a sudden, after making all this money on Twitch, oh, it's too restrictive for me. I've got to go to a different streaming service. Bullshit. Uh, this is complete bullshit. Any of us who are in the business will tell you this is bullshit. You don't go from the place where you can make the most money to a place where you make less money. That's 100% a lie. It just doesn't happen, all right? What really is happening behind the scenes, and again, this is all subjective. This is my opinion on things that I know from the industry and my own take on it. <laughs> is that he was offered a ginormous payday by Microsoft and Mixer to move over exclusively to their service. No shit. And he's been looking at his own performance over the last year <clears throat> and seeing that his attention on Twitch is dwindling. That you know, there are other Twitch streamers doing the same stuff he's been doing, getting more attention, making more money, and becoming more popular. And he's realizing that, oh crap, um, I need to do something to stay on top. So what do you do when you're no longer the top guy? You move somewhere where you're the top guy. So for him... Take the payday from Microsoft, go exclusively stream on Mixer, make tons of money doing it because it's a payday for him, and now have the ability to brag that he's now the top guy again when he couldn't do that here on Twitch anymore. Things are different over on Twitch right now. Things are much more positive. The other thing is, what you guys might not realize, is that by doing this move, if Ninja actually is doing what he says he's going to do, he is potentially losing the ability to ever make money on Twitch ever again. Okay, if you're not aware, all right, um, the way it works is when you sign up for a partnership program on any of these streaming services, the contract says you can only stream on one service at a time and, and, and make money. So essentially, if he streams one stream on Mixer with any kind of monetization enabled, he basically has violated the terms of service of the partner program on Twitch and basically he's going to get kicked out. Okay, now, knowing how much money he has made, um, knowing how much money he has made on Twitch, and how much money he's probably made for Twitch, I would be willing to think that Twitch would probably make an exception in his case, and even though they may either suspend his channel or just remove him from the partner program temporarily... I don't really think there's going to be giant negative repercussions against the guy. And I think that if he ever chose one, two years down the line, oh, man, it's not working out on Mixer because no one fucking uses Mixer. Uh, I want to come back to Twitch. I get the feeling Twitch would, would welcome him with open arms. Again, why would I go back to Twitch? Where Twitch TV is literally a business model. Based off of begging. Microsoft-owned streaming service. They're trying very desperately to compete with places like Twitch, and they're failing miserably like no one, almost no one. Uses Mixer unless they get paid to do so. And what I mean by that is, you know, obviously Microsoft tries to promote, so they pay certain streamers and the like to try to use their business. Obviously, the people who are the PR guys for Microsoft, like, like Major Nelson and stuff, use it. 
But for the most part, everyone uses Twitch to stream. And then, probably second place would be YouTube. Mixer, a distant, distant, distant third. So it's hilarious to see them name drop Mixer a million times during this press conference. And half the people watching are like, what's Mixer? I don't even know what it is. Why would he do this, right? Why would he move from Twitch to Mixer? It doesn't make sense because he has thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers that are consistent income for him on Twitch. Give me monies! It doesn't make sense. The answer is, you're right. And that's why I'm telling you guys, it's not what he's saying. He's saying, oh, I'm leaving Twitch and coming to Mixer because Twitch is too restrictive. It's like, dude, you're getting, from from estimates, this is just estimates of what people are saying. He makes about $500,000 a month on Twitch. Now, that's an estimate, okay? That's a big estimate. It could be completely wrong. Oh, I'm going to give all that up and quit that partnership program to start over on a new site do you really think he's taking that risk because, oh, I don't like how strict Twitch is? Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're out of your mind. That's just stupidity to even believe that. I mean, I would be, you would have to be a complete moron to think that someone would go from a place where you're making ridiculous, dirty, fuck you levels of money. But then again, what's the point of having fuck you money if you never say fuck you? Right? And leave that to go somewhere else and potentially make ridiculously less money, especially those first few months, uh, until he's established on Mixer, without taking some kind of a giant payout in order to do it. All right? He's taking a big payday. Okay? There's just no way. <laughs> There's just no way that this is the case that it's not. All right? So don't believe the nonsense. <laughs> he's full of shit. Okay?